I've been on an MSN Messenger kick lately, and I just wanted to see how many uh, different versions still work. Because, you know, it's just interesting, <clears throat> excuse me, especially from the retro point of view. Well, I had some success, and uh, this is something a bunch of you out there might be able to try for yourself. Okay, so first let's do Windows 95. I went ahead and got MSN Messenger 5. This is old, 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 old. Now, as you can see, it's messed up when it starts, but it does work. And so I'm logged into that. Now, that's not the one you could necessarily try for yourself, but there is one that you could for Windows XP, for those of you running XP out there still. Now, you probably remember Windows Messenger. It wasn't called MSN Messenger until you downloaded it, but if you went into Add Remove, as soon as that decides to show up, and to Add Remove Windows Components, at the very bottom of the list was Windows Messenger. Most of the time people just uninstalled this but it does work. It still works today. And it is completely ad-free, which is even cooler. There's only one problem, though, is that when you go to start it, or actually not when to uh, start it, but when to connect with it. Okay, so click here to sign in. And you go to sign in. Oh, it actually worked. I'm sorry. Well, you will get a uh, an error ordinarily. Start run services.msc. There is actually a service here. Once it shows up. Uh, let me get this in view. There we go. Simply called uh, Messenger and by default it is actually it's still disabled so I don't even know why this is working well anyway you get an error that says the dotnet messenger service could not connect blah 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 so you just change this to uh, manual and then you can actually start it but for some reason it kicked in the dot messenger dotnet messenger service so I guess now it's working yeah that's weird but it is working, that's the whole point. And uh, you can go in and add friends, and it I think it, it works completely here. So I'll try to add in a friend here. What service is .NET Messenger? That's what MSN Messenger service used to be called, was .NET Messenger. It's the same thing. So I will try to add in, see if it actually, oh, success, OK finish okay it says offline well that's not true because in my Windows 95 oh there it is has added you to your list allow this person to see it yep go for it oh sweet okay that's working bounce back to XP <laughs> Okay, so now it says online, so let's try sending a message. Test message. Oh, I heard something. Hey, it worked. And do test reply. Just bouncing back and forth here. <laughs> Alright, it works. So, there you go. Uh, Windows Messenger for Windows XP. 4.7. Ah, this is the version even before version 5.0. So, this is funny because actually that means the version I'm using in Windows 95 is newer than this in XP. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. But that's kind of kind of slick though. You can 
run Windows Messenger with your MSN contacts still and it works and in Windows 95 uh, MSN Messenger 5. Point, if you search for that on the internet by the way you can download that direct from Microsoft as MSN Messenger 5.0 and uh, that's what this is let me see the exact version 5.0.0575 copyright 1997-2002 man this is old stuff but there you go. Now this was weird to me because in my last video, retro video, I just did MSN Messenger 7. It was having issues, but it seems an MSN Messenger 5 does not have issues, and it works. So that's awesome. Workable retro goodness. Rock on.